Hello, Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy PEMF, also known as Low Field Magnetic Simulation, uses electromagnetic fields in attempt to heal non-union fractures and depression. It can be used to supplement and enhance currently existing healthcare modalities. In addition, PEMF therapy improves sleep, mental focus and the body's overall performance by healing the energy, helping the energy output and regenerations of the body cells. Clinical studies have demonstrated that PEMF are capable of increasing circulation, decreasing inflammation, accelerating bone healing, and changing muscle function, reducing the effects of stress, improving blood oxygenation, and much more. In several of my previous videos, I have presented you with simple ways to make this type of device without any great knowledge in the field of electronics. Commercial such devices are sold at a price of several hundred to thousands of dollars, so, so my goal is to make the simple to build and functional device available to more people who cannot afford it. This time I will show you a simple way to make a high power PEMF device which gives a magnetic flux density that is about 10 times stronger than that of previous devices. Uh, there are two options for building such a device. First, uh, increase the supply voltage to approximately 50 to 70 volts and the current of 3 to 5 amperes, thereby increasing the ohmic resistance of the coil. And second, to use a standard power supply from an old PC, 12 volts, 20 amperes, and reduce the ohmic resistance of the coil. The first way is impractical due to the fact that it uses a non-standard power supply that is difficult to obtain. The schematic diagram would be much more complicated due to the use of two voltage reg regulators and also a voltage of 70 volts and more is potentially dangerous. Uh, the second way has none of these disadvantages. It is easier to make and uses components that are much easier to obtain. The device is very simple to build and contains the following components. First, PWM signal generator module, ZKPP1K. Also, you can use any of the signal generators mod generator models used in my previous PEMF projects. Uh, next, 8 pieces chip and channel power MOSFET transistor, transistors, in my case P50 and 06 but you can use any other MOSFET with similar characteristics. You can get 10 pieces uh, at price of $2 in total. Next, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, uh, 8 pieces resistors of 100 ohms, 3 ampere diode, uh, next power supply unit, from old PC. I use this power supply unit from server PC, but you can use a standard power supply unit from old home PC. And the coil that generates the magnetic flux. The MOSFETs are mounted on a suf sufficiency massive aluminium cooler without isolation because the drain electrodes of each transistor are interconnected. The interconnections should be made with a situable wires with a cross section of less 2.5 mm because a very strong current flows through them. Special attention should be, should be paid to the construction of the coils because, because the MOSFET can burn very easily. That's why I made uh, detailed drawings with the dimensions of the coils and the wire. Of course, coils with other dimensions can be made, but some conditions must be met. Uh, the cross section of the wire must not be less than one millimeter. Next, the ohmic resistance of the coil must not be less than 0 0.5 ohms. Uh, and last, the inductance, the inductance of the coil should not be less than 0 0.5 millihenry. And now let's see how the device works in reality. When the device is switched on, the pulse LED starts flashing with a at a frequency set by the signal generator. 
Uh, based on the instructions of many manufacturers of such devices, this frequency should be in the range of 4 to 30 Hz and duty cycle with a value of 5% to 15%. The potentiometer controls the intensity of the magnetic flux and its strength is proportional to the intensity of the LED. Let me mention that uh, after several hours of work, uh, the coil and the transistor remains cold. Now to demonstrate the strength of the magnetic flux, we will do a little experiment. Uh, we pass a small permanent magnet through the torus. Under the action of a strong magnetic field, the magnet is cracked by the coil. This effect is used in the device called coil gun. This device works with very strong currents, so it is necessary to have some kind of protection. In this case, that protection is contained in your external power supply, so in case of a short circuit, the power supply is automatically switched off. Uh, I'm not a medical expert and I cannot discuss the effect of the device, although I personally have many positive experiences from using it. I can also say with certainty that low frequency magnetic fields definitely have no, have no negative impact except in people where it is contraindicated. In fact, the MRI imaging uses magnetic fields that are tens thousands of times stronger than those at PEMF and as we know this type of diagnostics is completely, completely harmless. Finally, the device is mounted in a mounted in a suitable plastic box.